Howie Mandel has brought joy to audiences on the small screen, the stage, and in cinemas. Despite this, it seems the man's life hasn't been all that joyous, and it keeps getting worse. The popular comedian and game show host suffers from numerous mental and physical health problems that make it hard for him to have a good time, but he still tries his best. Join Facts First as we take a look at how the tragedy of Howie Mandel just keeps getting worse. Howie Mandel has an insane fear of germs. TV viewers familiar with America's Got Talent will likely be aware Howie Mandel is a man who suffers from significant phobia of germs. Whenever it comes time for him to shake someone's hand on the program, the best he can manage is a fist bump. That's because Howie wants to keep skin contact with others to a minimum. As one might imagine, this can be difficult for someone in the comedian's position. And it's getting worse. Not many people know about the alleged incident that inspired the phobia. His fear of germs is called misophobia, and it isn't all that uncommon. The only thing is the majority of people who suffer from this extreme fear of germs aren't big-name celebrities. Howie's mother had a similarly strong fear of germs, to the point where she wouldn't let family members touch young Howie's crib without disinfecting it afterwards. This behavior from the future comedian's mother may have set the stage for his own misophobia, but it was actually a more specific incident that Howie credits for causing his strange condition. The Origin of Howie Mandel's Misophobia When Howie was still young, his family went on a trip to Florida. During the trip, things went terribly awry. He ended up getting eggs laid inside of him by a sandfly. The boy could see the sandfly larva visibly growing under his skin, and it understandably freaked him out a great deal. The experience of having the larvae removed became equally traumatic, as doctors did their best to remove the pests with a painful application of liquid nitrogen. Even so, this application wasn't enough to get rid of all the sandfly larvae that had been laid under Howie's skin, so his mother had to scrub them out for several days at home until they were finally gone. Despite the fact that being afraid of germs ran in his family, Howie Mandel credits this sandfly larvae incident with causing him to develop misophobia in later years. This is what he thinks about whenever it comes time for him to have contact with people. Howie was a troublemaker in school. Howie's trouble in school didn't come as a result of the young boy's latent misophobia, but instead came as a result of ADHD. Howie always had a crazy sense of humor, and he exhibited this during his school years to the point where he was always getting in trouble. Howie hated paying attention in class, and instead dedicated all his time in the classroom to making his peers laugh. His antics led him to be kicked out of three separate high schools. According to Howie, the kind of things he would get kicked out of school for would be the same kind of things he would get paid good money for when he entered the entertainment industry, including jokes and pranks. Howie recalled several pranks he pulled during his childhood that ended up catching him the ire of the staff of whatever school he was attending. On In one instance, Howie claimed he hired some contractors to put an additional wing on his school's library. Another time, the comedian claims he was in a swim class and decided to throw a candy bar into the pool. Similar to the iconic scene from Caddyshack, Howie's classmates freaked out, thinking someone had pooped in the pool. However, Howie says he came up with the prank before Caddyshack was even in theaters. During those days, Howie Mandel had no tangible dreams of becoming a star. It wouldn't be until many years later, after trying to make a living as a colorblind carpet salesman, that Howie finally found his calling as a stand-up comedian. Before we tell you more about that, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Howie was a colorblind carpet salesman. The best profession Howie could find after graduating from high school was a door-to-door -door carpet salesman. The profession proved quite difficult as he was actually colorblind. This made it so Howie was essentially unable to keep track of which carpet was which, but he claims this wasn't that big of a deal due to the predominantly drab nature of house decor in the area he lived in. Howie is a Canadian comedian, having grown up in the area of Toronto. According to Howie, most of the houses in Toronto were ugly, and it wouldn't have made much of a difference what color carpets the residents had chosen. When numerous comedy clubs started opening up around Toronto, Howie got the idea to try his hand at stand-up comedy. How Howie Got Into Stand-Up Comedy Howie had always had a great sense of humor and had filled up rooms with laughter, and he also hated working with his hands. He tried his luck during amateur night and claims that the sparks flew immediately. Howie was nervous, and he incorporated his nervousness into his act. Those who only know the comedian from his more recent years on America's Got Talent will likely not be aware of just how strange and cutting-edge his stand-up comedy act was. He came onto the scene with a manic style, similar to Bobcat Goldthwait, which utilized weird voices and movements. Howie moved from the stage to the screen. Howie ended up finding quite a bit of success as a comedian, and that gradually allowed him to work his way into Hollywood. 
In 1982, Howie began playing the character of Dr. Wayne Fiscus on the medical drama St. Elsewhere, which also notably provided an early starring role for Denzel Washington. Both Howie and Denzel stayed on the series for its entire run, which totaled six seasons and 137 episodes. Howie's turn on St. Elsewhere proved he had dramatic chops, but in 1984, the comedian's propensity for making strange voices landed him a gig voicing the character of Gizmo in the classic family horror film Gremlins. Howie would go on to use a very similar voice when voicing the titular character on the hit animated kid show Bobby's World. In 1989, he received what is arguably his most iconic live-action role via the cult classic film Little Monsters, though that role features the comedian buried under lots of makeup. In the 2000s, Howie Mandel became bigger than ever as the host of Deal or No Deal. It was on this show fans first got a taste of the misophobia that had come to afflict the star more strongly than ever. This is where his iconic fist bump originated as he refused to shake hands with any of the show's contestants, even if they won a million bucks. Howie's been having a tough time lately. Howie moved from Deal or No Deal to America's Got Talent, and he's still a host there to this day. This might change soon, however, as it seems Howie's numerous mental problems are only getting worse. He's also become afflicted with a few physical problems, including high blood pressure. Howie claims he was diagnosed with high blood pressure in his 40s, and he takes prescription statin drugs to keep his blood pressure under control. In late 2021, the comedian had a scare where he passed out at a Starbucks, which he later attributed to a mix of blood pressure problems and excessive heat. Howie thankfully recovered, but he went on to contract COVID-19 in April of 2022 while attending the Kids' Choice Awards. On top of that, Howie has had to live through the death of several close friends over the past year, including fellow comedians Bob Saget, Gilbert Gottfried, and Louis Anderson. Howie recovered from COVID-19, though the episode has made it so the star isn't incredibly anxious to leave the house. An incident that occurred in early May only added to Howie's growing fear of public life, as fellow comedian Dave Chappelle was attacked during a performance on stage by a man with a knife. Howie Mandel now claims he's afraid to get on stage, which might greatly affect his future. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite of all of Howie Mandel's roles? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Faxverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Faxverse as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Faxverse, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else.